Oh, no. No, 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 no. Who would that, you even say that it. live on national television and with a female host? Oh, f me. Is it no way that someone has a card that says this? I mean, that dog can at least swim. That looks like me swimming. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's kind of my intro, Mrs. Lush. Honey, it's still early in the day. Why don't we just start our day off on the right foot and watch some things on the internet that make us either mad or face and palm. Oh, Teams right. put together some clips as always. Let's jump right in with this one, which sounds. Are we saying that two plus two, if you say it's four, that's racist? I mean, that sounds like we may be mischaracterizing it. What, uh, if you can quickly sum it up. No, that's not mischaracterizing it at all. It's math is basically racist under this ideology because it says there is no such thing as an objective reality. So four might not be Sorry. the right number. Two plus two might actually equal five. This is a good one. I love this. There the, is no limit. The mental gymnastics, yeah. Now math is being attacked by the everything can be reality group of people. That's funny. Certainly maybe more context would have helped alleviate some of the face palm on that, but I'm starting to think probably not. Yeah. <laughs> How can we say two by two you plus start two the is day four? being very like generous and um, open-minded here? Yes, it's the first clip, so I'm still willing to give them an inch. I'm not. <laughs> but maybe by the end of the video, I'm gonna be doing a little more, more face and more face and I'm gonna be doing a little more palm on face. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm gonna be doing a little more face and palm. Uh, oh, my but palm yes, in your face. yes, the internet has made math racist. Oh, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Driver doesn't know how to exit correctly. Whoa. Oh no. No, 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 no. Bro. Be on those lines. What is he doing? No, they're just driving psychotic. That's more just like face palm moment though, again. Just people that have licenses that shouldn't. Stay away. Either hammered or stupid, maybe both. Are you proud of me I didn't make a, a, a female driver joke there? A women driving joke? <laughs> I keep saying female. I keep getting for saying female. Would you say, I'm curious on your perception of this because, or your opinion, because no, not, not, don't worry about what the general public thinks, okay. but um, like calling a woman a female, it sounds very like incel -y, like you're like the nice guy type who just is red pilled and females are like objects. Does that make sense to you? No. If you refer to him as female? No. I think it's because like, it's general manosphere stuff. For I think my that's... personal opinion, if you say to me female or woman. Cause you come from a nursing background. It doesn't make a difference. Doesn't to make me. a difference. Yeah. I guess there's the- To inter... me. The... I can see where other people might have an issue with it, but. There's particular s sections of men on the internet or, or demographics of men that, that use the term female regularly, I guess in a negative connotation. Sure. Just, uh, so I guess I get it, which is why, like, which is stupid because there's another word that is just generally inherently not bad, but now has a negative connotation because how it's been used in some circles online. Sure. So I still say it. I've been trying to use the word women instead just because people are mad, but I'll still pull out the female once in a while. I'm not using it in a way that's denigrating females or women. It's just, it's, it's just a word like male, female, I don't know. But the context matters though, where it's I like, guess. if you're talking about a medical report versus like some like red pilled incel, that's like female, it's female, Yeah, there's a lot female, more wrong female. with them than saying female versus yeah, woman, okay? Sure. So I like it. At least he's honest, here we go. I'm a first amendment absolutist. I believe in only two things completely, the first amendment and yeah. boobs. Once they made the decision, that they Wait, were not did you just say you believe in the first amendment? The guy's definitely trolling, dude. That's so Yeah. It's <laughs> related commentary. They Wait, could, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to make sure he I heard you correctly as a woman anchoring the show. You say the first amendment and BWBS? <laughs> boobs. Two things that have only never let me down in this entire country's history. The first amendment and boobs. How would that, you even it, say that live on national television and with the You're obsessed. Host, because I like boobs and the First Amendment, which is exactly it's what I funny, said. It's funny, dude. Like he's, he's rolling. Like, I get it. This guy's probably one of these conservative pundits, right? Talking heads, they get called on these shows and they give their very divisive uh, soliloquies about whatever political thing they're talking about this week. And you just slip in, I'm a First Amendment absolutionist and I like boobs. Like, it's hilarious. That's funny. I'm sure a lot of people are offended by that, but I, I don't think it's an unpopular opinion that men like boobs. Right, you know what I mean? Like, hello. You also like the First Amendment in boobs. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe, maybe because that basically is what I'm thinking in my head at all times. You're not gonna put it out there on live national television. No, so. no, not if I was probably, not if I was on YouTube CNN video. or Fox News, but. And I love that she's like, especially with me as a female host, it's like, well, if you, just cause you're a female host doesn't mean I'm not allowed to like boobs. Like, what's the problem here? The video was taken on 
November 13th, 2023. That was not too long ago. The Pompano Pools. Close the public. This is from SeaWorld. Manatees are semi social and suffer psychologically when not living in pairs or groups. Is this going to be like a kind of an animal activist type of look how they're treating animals Probably. in the sea world type of thing? Let's see. What the f for Christ's sake? Oh, ah! Ah! First of all, I want to know why Reddit is. I think they're I'm going to take the rest of the day off for emotional damage from that. <laughs> <laughs> of what? Just Reddit trying to f no, me you're off? you're screaming in my ear. Oh, sorry. Well, they're telling me this is old, like this is NSFW plus 18. Tantrum. I'm not logged in. I don't know why I'm not logged in, first of all. All right, so the manatee's lonely and suffering psychological damage. Is that what we're getting at? How is he? Like the pool's not even clean. Free from, free from male. Where did they say this was? At the Miami Seaquarium? How, that place is gone and run down. How are they possibly- How do they leave one thing there? Send that motherfucker back into the ocean. Like, what are we doing here? Why is Romeo just like- Romeo? Isn't that what they said his name was? I know, that's how you'd say uh, that Romeo? Though. Romeo. <laughs> It's oh, Romeo, Romeo, dude. Romeo, he Why is Romeo heart. the manatee have no July it? I hate you. You got it? <laughs> I mean, I'm not one to like get super infuriated over animal stuff on the internet. Not my personality type, but I do have a heart. Romeo needs a partner. Come get you some cold beer. Come on, you look like you want to get drunk. You want to be selling beer? You want one? No. What's this, you man? It's beer. It's zero percent alcohol. It doesn't matter. What are you guys doing down here? Selling beer. How old are you? What's the issue, sir? If you don't want to identify yourself, walk away. Here's my ID. I was just asking why. First, at first refusing to, to give me your information and me telling you to walk away and you telling me you're going to stand right here. You know that's arrestable, right? I gave Do you. You know my... that's arrestable, right? I'm explaining to you. You know it's arrestable, right? I gave I you was my called... ID. Be quiet. See, that's your problem. Oh. Oh you just asked me a question. D did I tell you to answer yet? I wasn't called here for you. I was called here for a biracial male. Are you a biracial male? Are you a biracial male? No, I'm asking you a question. You can answer it now. I'm unaware. You're unaware. You are really pushing my eyes. Answer. You won't get out until Tuesday. I do not That's want anybody to go to jail. This is my last time warning. You whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to ticket. You're going to court. This could have went so much easier if you didn't have such an attitude. Because you know your rights, right? Okay, you know well. Let me talk to you for a second over here. I'm not mad at you at all. <laughs> First of all, I love that. Because you every body cam video I watch, it's the second shit gets real. The I person is just. <laughs> And yes, I'm always yes. like, well, no, clearly you don't. People that like constantly grief and won't just like, just do what you need to do to get out of the situation without getting in trouble. And if you won't shut the f up and you're constantly just chirping because like, okay, you get a ticket, go to court. Thanks for playing. You at all. I looked it up. You're not doing anything wrong. All for a social media stunt. I would say it's more illegal to just take to the streets and sell something. Like you usually need some kind of permit for selling. Or stuff. some sort of license. Yeah, I don't know the logistics behind that. Cause I've seen in cities where like people will buy a case of waters and then sell waters for $3, yeah. stuff like that. But I believe need some sort of permit or license to operate in that manner, like a food truck would or someone yeah. who's, who's retailing stuff. The team labeled this one, you'll both hate this one. So I'm curious to see where we're going. Spent a couple grand on a gym from my basement and use it often until my roommate adopted a feral cat and pisses in it daily. Oh, <laughs> Oh uh, man! Uh, oh, adopting a feral cat, and then and then you're supposed to like like lay down on that as if it's a mat. Yeah. So uh, put your hands down there. Anyone who knows the history of this channel knows that we're not really cat people, and like, we are home workout people. And we are home workout people, so these are something we don't like as much. Something we do love. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the team was right. If you're going to adopt a feral cat, you need to have the responsibility in the presence of mind to understand the responsibility that comes along with that, which is having to do the work to somehow house train it. Do you train cats like to use the litter box or something? I don't know. Like typically, that happens from you know when they're younger. Mm. When a cat has been feral, I don't know what the success rate is of then domesticating them. But if your cat's pissing all over my gym mats, I'm about to make a nice little cat tofu. So <laughs> thanks for playing. About to serve it up in a little chow foon in my local restaurant. Bitchy. Limiting TP at the hospital. Here we go. Interesting. So the way the thing is made, you can't pull it and roll it. It just has to so pull, pull it. like two at a time. You could probably yeah, like, you could yeah. probably keep cocking it though, right? You could just like keep. Or you have to like unwind. Yeah, you'd have to two hand it, like kind of keep cocking it as you're bringing it out. I understand. And I'm gonna tell you that I most certainly would do that. I know you Many would. times as necessary. <laughs> if you're at a hospital, not to mention that's probably half ply TP if you're yeah, in a public restaurant. Yeah, they can restaurant. call it one ply, but it's yeah. half. Yeah, I'm very methodical with how I use my TP at home, the trifold typically, because it's, you know, heavy ply. 
it's nice toilet paper. We spend the money on nice toilet paper to treat yourself at home. But when you're in a public restroom with the half pie bullshit, it's so bad. You can't be judicious with how much you take. You got to make sure you're getting full coverage, especially when you got big mitts like this. If you're taking that much TP in a public restroom with a mitt like this, you're getting at least 50% finger coverage. I'm sorry. There's no alternative. I'm pulling off five, six, seven X of what I just saw in that. Prosecutor in the Menendez brothers trial. Men cannot be since they lack the necessary equipment to actually be Here we go. What the f People's position. I have real difficulty believing that they were abused in this whole scenario because to accept it would mean that to accept that they were being abused as basically adults. Big, strong, strapping boys. No other way to put it. Things you've testified to, is that a figment of your imagination then in this trial? No. Is that based on, on um, things that you would like to have had happen that you could testify to? I definitely would rather that the things that happened to me had not happened, that's well, for sure. That's a bizarre statement to make in a legal case. That's, did you follow that trial at all? I did I, not. I recognize that clip and those brothers, but I, that looked older. I'm sure there's been like a Netflix documentary on I it. I think that's uh, where, yeah. Uh, I've definitely heard of it, but I never Probably, watched. yeah. It is interesting how we as a society, or just as a race, we take like very traumatizing, difficult things that have happened in the world to people and just turn them into ripping entertainment. <laughs> Hey, we're guilty of watching. We love watching that. Yeah. And I don't know. Like, whatever the statute is. I mean, they do it now. Like, it doesn't even have to be a long period of time that goes by. It'll be like, hey, this crazy shit happened two years ago. Here's a bang, a Netflix documentary about it. And everyone gets obsessed with it. Gypsy Rose got out of jail, and I think she did some documentary or she participated in some documentary right away. Yeah. I watched that. You did? <laughs> is it new? I, I watched. It's a newer one, I think. I originally watched a Di Gypsy Rose thing maybe five or six years ago when we lived at our old house. But. She's now out of prison. As right, of not after too long for ago. killing her mom or whatever. Yes. And I think she participated in some docuseries. Oh, I see, yeah, the immediately the yeah, second she so got out. So talk about immediate. I mean, yeah. What is this? Oh, f me. Is it no way that someone has a card that says this? And that's what they give them? They leave them the money and then leave them a card that says, why no tip? And join us on Reddit. They have a Reddit group. Tipping reinforces income inequality. Tipping is inconsistent and arbitrary. Tipping can lead to discriminatory behavior. Tipping puts pressure on workers to provide exceptional service. That number four is literally the point. Yeah. Are you ready for the revolution? No. Join us on Reddit at blank. Just leave a little handwritten note on a napkin that says, I'm a broke sorry. Thanks for playing. You can take that little tipping explanation card of why you're a broke piece of shit and deliver it all the way up into your and do wadnam. Elbow deep, just get in there and just scrape the inside of your large intestine with that little card and then take it out and swallow it, shit it out and swallow it again, you loser. <laughs> Are you ready to be part of the revolution? Here's our Reddit. Pick a worthy cause to get behind. The f Oh, the level of just, whoo, boy. The that egg was like not on the salmon. salmon. So can I please get a new one? I don't want to eat it. Can you leave already? Why are you even here? You're joking, right? I can't make this up. Why is the egg not on the salmon? No, stop. I can see clearly that I'm not making this up. Like, I can't make this up. Do you guys see this egg that's not on the salmon? It feels like a skit, because, like, there's no way the first thing the server would say is, can you leave already, right? I'm going to try to put this on. If it, like, opens yeah, this feels on the fake, way, but... I'm literally going to have to ask you to bring me another one. Oh, my God. Okay, it's breaking. Well, did you stab it? Can I get a new one? Yeah, no, that's rage bait. This Sorry, has to be yeah. rage bait. Yeah, you mean people who post obviously fake rage bait material. How many people think this is real is quite frankly alarming. Agree. I've been in the game long enough. I still get duped from time to time, but like rage bait has become a lot more obvious to me with like like this, like restaurant scenarios, like chicks going into gyms wearing practically nothing. Deja vu. Like it's starting to become very obvious that it's like, oh, this could go viral. So I'm going to do it and pretend like I'm not aware of what I'm doing, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dog fails miserably at swimming. Oh, Jesus. Bro. Anyone gonna get in there and get it? What the hell? What the heck? I mean, that dog can at least swim. Sounds like me <laughs> He jumped back in. He just about damn near drowned and he jumped back in. Dude, saw his little buddy having a good time. It's he like his face never peeked above the water. Like he, he was in it. 
to win it. So I always figured like, oh, dogs are great swimmers, but like yeah. most like labs, retrievers, there's certain dogs, but some breeds apparently not. Like bulldogs, you never see bulldogs so swimming short, around, do you? And their trunk is so heavy, that right? Looked like some <laughs> sort of, that looked like some sort of bulldog, right? That's probably what that is. Yeah, I don't know the intricacies of the different breeds, but uh, apparently whatever breed that is can't swim very well. All right, you see that thing behind me? You're gonna Airbnb no. this? Yeah, let's go. How much you getting for it? Square foot house in Delray Beach. Oh, house. Two hundred and ninety-nine thousand dollars. And guess what? I'm gonna take you inside. Why don't you follow me real quick? So right here, we have your formal living room, you know, an armchair and a rug. You say 300 grand for this? Yes. Here we go. This is where it gets serious. In Delray. TV room. Nice 32 inch plasma. Black Friday deal. Killing it. And then in here, the main suite. I would, yeah. I don't know if I'd call it a suite. A twin size bed. Maybe it's like my college kitchen. freshman dorm room. And then how about the closet? Wait, I gotta see the kitchen. I think we did. There has to be a kitchen Walk to call it a house, obviously. obviously. Oh, here it is. In here, this is your gourmet chef's kitchen. Granite <laughs> countertops. Just imagine. Granite? The fridge here. The range? The oh, the fridge is there, the you dumbass. Okay. This is the en suite of the kitchen. You got this awesome single sink. <coughs> fully walk in shower. No tub. Are you serious? No, of course. A tub? Dude, this is better than my shower at home. Yeah, that shower is actually not bad. At that window? So I'm scared and access straight outside. You want to hang your clothes. It has its own washer clothes. and dryer. That's actually crazy. House. What do you guys think? Three hundred thousand. That's a steal. I kind of get it. I mean, the real estate market is absurd, right? That's a. That's, Anyways, come on. I thought it was mostly completely up here absurd. in New England. No, well, Del, you're talking about Delray Beach. This is like yeah. probably if you're close to the beach in yeah. Delray, like that's why you can probably fetch three hundred thousand for that. So if you're like some single like surfer that just wants to live on the beach and have that lifestyle in that area, someone will scoop it up. It feels to me more like a place that you own to rent like you own to rent it that to, would be uh, a good little rental like sure. seasonal yeah like you want to go out to you want you're like a digital nomad wants to live on Del Rey for a couple months go live in that little thing and after see like the inside actually looks nice but the amount of space is just obscene this is a TV area that over there is the breakfast nook oh hold on, what are we doing here hold on what is this is that a piece of ice and do an iced tea let's go the $12 drink that's 50% ice. No, that's not $12, please. It better be an alcoholic drink for that price. I uh, mean, even so, that's still... <clears throat> I don't want to ruin anyone's time, but I hate to break it to you, every drink that costs $12 in a restaurant is mostly ice. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if the ice comes in a long rectangle or if it's regular ice chips. When you take the ice out, your drink looks about this high. What an industry. It's no wonder why it's lobbied so hard and why it's so celebrated. I mean, for various reasons, but the amount of money that people make off the aftermarket sale of alcohol is preposterous. The second you walk a step foot into a restaurant, you're just paying 10X for what you could buy in the store yourself. But that's part of the experience. That's uh, why we stay home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. What was that? What was that? Uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching. We appreciate you being here. That was a little face palm moment, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, just passed a little gas. It's early. <laughs> Haven't taken my daily deuce yet, so. I'm not. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video. I'll let you wrap it up. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>